So all right in previous videos uh, I have discussed about uh, how to do project setup and how to do configuration and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to do basic CRUD operations using uh, Spring repositories uh, and in case if you are not following the series uh, I'm uploading all my videos in a separate playlist called Spring Data JPA and uh, I will provide link in the description and, and the second thing is that uh, I'm committing my entire source code to git repository and I have provided uh, this link also in description so you can um, you can check out the source code as well so now uh, let's come back to Eclipse so what we did in previous videos was that we have uh, created one entity called a uh, product after that what I did was I have created a basic uh, rest controller uh, with two endpoints, uh, one for getting all the products and uh, another API for uh, adding a product and uh, I've created another uh, service layer so which has two methods uh, get all products and add product so uh, these uh, service methods are called by controller here now uh, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna create an uh, repository and uh, we will be calling that uh, repository from our service layer to do all the uh, database related operations like uh, saving a product to the database and uh, getting all products from the database and etc now uh, for that let, let me create a uh, repository first and if you remember from my first video uh, we did something like enable jpa repositories uh, within this package so uh, I'm, I'm going to create a, a package and inside that I'm going to create an a repo called uh, sorry it should be interface uh, not class so uh, let me create an interface called a product repo now it's time to discuss about uh, repositories now uh, you can think of uh, repositories or the heart of your uh, entire uh, JPA Spring Data JPA stuff and you will access uh, all the database operations uh, from the repository itself so every operation you do should go through the repository and uh, this repository is uh, specific for your entity let's say for example I have a product entity so I have a respect to a product repo for that so uh, anything related to product uh, like for example uh, uh, saving a product uh, getting a product uh, all the operations will go in my product repo now the advantage of spring is that you don't really have to write any code to do your uh, operations and uh, let me show you how to do that so first of all you have to mark this as an uh, jpa repository and right now after that what you have to do is that you have to extend an uh, another uh, repository interface now uh, what, uh, i'm going to extend a crud repository here now uh, it, it accepts uh, generics so the first parameter should be uh, your entity so as i said uh, I'm, I'm i'm defining repo for this entity so i'm going to say product and the second generic should be your uh, primary key now in my case my primary key is an integer so I'm, I'm gonna say integer here in case if your primary key is a string you have to uh, you have to define string here now that's it that's all you need to do to perform uh, basic operations now uh, let me open and show you what are all the things you have in this crud repository now if I open this you can see that there are a bunch of methods so you have a save save all find by id uh, and you have some methods for uh, delete so basically you have all the methods for um, like basic operations like uh, create update delete get etc now uh, the thing is that even though it's an interface and even though you are extending that interface you don't really have to implement all these methods uh, that's because uh, spring by default has an uh, the basic implementation for all these methods and uh, whenever you try to use this product repo it will uh, inject that uh, implementation for you so you don't really have to uh, you know write any implementations for this one and uh, spring will take care of uh, all these things now uh, if you want to see that implementation what exactly is that implementation you can just say open implementation 
Now, if you see, these are all just uh, JPA methods uh, persist uh, image. And if you are familiar with JPA or Hibernate, uh, you would have known these uh, methods before. So you can see that uh, Spring is even handling uh, transactions as well. Well, you don't really have to worry much about what's going on inside. All you have to do is that you just have to call these methods. Now, uh, let me show you how to use that exactly. Now I'm going to go to my uh, product service and I'm going to call this repository to add a product. Uh, so let me let me auto write that one. I know it's not the best way to inject, but uh, it does the job. Now I'm going to call that a save method here. Let's say report dot and you have to pass that uh, object and i guess it will return an uh, persistent object for us and uh, the product uh, which is returned will have an uh, uh, id the primary key id if you remember in my previous video i have said that uh, um, jpa will uh, generate an automatic uh, key for us so uh, that will be returned after saving our entity uh, we're just returning that uh, object so that's it that's all you need so before actually testing this one i want to highlight that crud repository is not the only repository available you can uh, try with a few other repositories as well uh, like for example um, you have a paging and sorting repository uh, which is again extending a crud repository so this paging and sorting uh, is uh, is responsible for doing that paging and sorting stuff so we will be talking about this in upcoming videos on how to do paging and sorting stuff and you have a jpa repository uh, which extends uh, all the remaining all the remaining two uh, repositories and uh, you can see that it has few other methods uh, which supports batch uh, generally it's uh, generally we will use a jpa repository because uh, it kind of extends everything so you will have all the methods uh, but for basic CRUD, uh, CRUD uh, operations, you can uh, go with CRUD repository. Now, uh, that's pretty much about CRUD repository. If you're still confused about these repositories and how does it work, uh, don't worry. Just remember that you just have to uh, imp extend that interface um, and you just have to call that methods. Uh, so Spring will take care of uh, everything else. Now, uh, let me run this one and uh, let me call uh, add product API. So uh, I'm in my postman and uh, I'm calling uh, add API. I'm going to send a product input and uh, this is exactly the fields which we have declared here. Now I uh, remember I'm not sending ID as my input. That's because um, uh, you shouldn't be sending an ID. Uh, Spring will automate or J JPA will automatically generate that ID and uh, we should get that in uh, we should get that id in the response and uh, after saving uh, after persisting that object now uh, let me try that one uh, let me send request uh, i'm sorry i guess it should be a post uh, let me try that again all right as you can see that uh, we got our uh, product information back but uh, the thing is that we are getting id as well so that means it's actually persisted in the database and it's uh, returning that uh, key for us and if you want to cross check uh, what you could do is that you could go to h2 console and if you connect it to your database uh, you can see that it, there's a new table created product and uh, this is our entity here uh, so this is the this, this is the product class and inside that i should have one row uh, let me run this yeah you can see that uh, information is persisted in our database uh, let, let me try to add another product uh, this time let's say samsung all right yeah you can see that uh, this another row inserted now i'm going to implement uh, get all products as well uh, we should be able to get all the products available in our uh, database i think i already have a line for that so let me uncomment uh, or else let me start from the beginning so uh, i'm calling that uh, find all uh, api in that uh, crud repository 
and uh, you can see that it's actually returning an iterable so i'm going to use a uh, for each and uh, i'm going to say product list all right now uh, that should add all the entries uh, from iterable to my product list now uh, let me rerun this now i'm calling my get api it should return me all the products all right now you are seeing two products now you can do the same for uh, delete i think it's just a uh, method call so i'm going to show you how to do some uh, advanced operations in uh, my next video uh, so thanks for viewing guys if you like this video don't forget to subscribe us